All right, Shalom, Shalom. It's the brother Rock coming back with another edition of Spiritual Exercise. Uh, but before I get started, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakaf Kodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles at GMS who rule well. And peace and safety to the occupants across the four corners of the earth that are pushing out this truth and sincerity and putting their life on the line to do so. All right, in this edition of Spiritual Exercise, you know, um, wanted to go into it, uh, uh, always relevant, you know, subject, which is the woman, okay, and um, the woman of our nation in particular, okay, from uh, from the tri tribe of Judah on down to Issachar, okay, because uh, like the brother um, Anai from the camp here, uh, did a beautiful lesson about you know them feeling a sense of entitlement okay because Esau has made it that way all right um you know and 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 they bring that same uh mentality uh to the table when it comes to dealing with a man all right or, or their man okay well some of these uh broads have more than one man okay but that's either here nor there um but just wanted to drop a quick edifying lesson lord willing on you know the position of a woman okay because the woman was created from the man's rib not the other way around okay we were created from a woman's rib okay now i have two scriptures lined up the first one is in genesis okay now this comes after uh you know the serpent enticed eve to eat the fruit okay now this is uh genesis chapter 3 verse 16 it says unto the woman he said i will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception and sorrow thou shalt bring forth children all right that's 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 basic and that's what you women's job are man to bear bear our children man and like the brother i will always say to get it up and get it down man. that's it Okay, not to be trying to run, run, run businesses. Okay, uh, uh, assert authority over man. You know, call the shots or or wear the pants, so to speak. Okay, that's that's not that's not what you were originally created for. Okay, but here in in this society nowadays, uh, you can throw that out the window. Okay, uh, you meet a woman, she could uh probably agree with every well almost everything that you bring out in the scriptures except for when you go into telling them about what their role is according to the scriptures okay bearing children keeping the house in order cooking cleaning you know things of that nature and, and, and bearing children you know they don't want to hear that all right you know you you start telling them that then you know they 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 want to um catch the first thing smoking and get the hell up get the hell out of dodge all right because you know some as simple as that is so hard to the women nowadays okay it says yeah like i was saying you know you tell them that they they uh they want to get away from around you okay when you bring out to them you know what their role is or uh according to the scriptures and that goes back to you know that sense of entitlement that the brothers was that the brother was talking about they feel entitled to have an opinion they feel entitled to have a corporate job they feel entitled to have some kind of authority okay and he used you know uh sandra bland and uh korean Gaines as an example okay and you see see what you know that sense of entitlement did for them okay they as got put to death okay it says uh, and sorrow thine shall bring forth children, and thy desire shall be to thy husband. Okay? <laughs> the desire shall be to their husband. These bitches desire to do everything but, you know, serve serve the man. Okay? And it says, and he shall rule over them. Okay? Not under, but over. Rule over them. The woman is the weaker vessel. Okay? All right? Now, uh, from there, 
We're going to go to uh, 1 Timothy chapter 2. Let's start at uh, verse 12. It says, But I suffer not a woman to teach, nor to assert, assert authority over the man, but to be in silence. Okay? Now, you know, you bring that scripture out, you know, you might as well be prepared to uh, get into a, a, a back and forth, okay? A damn near fist fight. You tell a woman that, okay, according to the scriptures, okay? Now, that's not a parable. That's in plain English, okay? That's in plain language, so to speak, okay? But I suffer not a woman to teach nor to assert authority over the man, but to be in silence, okay? Now, ultimately, they don't have... Uh, an issue with us because we, we're bringing it out through the scriptures, okay? Um, that's what thus says the Lord, okay? So you have to take it up uh, with the most high, okay? Now, in, in, in the scriptures, it, it also tell you the order in which, you know, you women are supposed to be in, okay? Subjection under us, all right? And I'll go ahead and grab that too. Normally don't like to make these um, these spiritual exercises that long, but hey. Here it is, uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 11. Okay, I start at verse 2, okay? But the point is in 3. It says, um, now, I praise ye, pr now I praise you, brethren, that ye remember me in all things and keep the ordinance as I delivered them to you. Verse 3, but I would have you know that the head of every man is Yahweh Shai, Okay? And the head of the woman is the man. And the head of Yahweh Shai is Yahweh, okay? Who you ignorantly, who you people ignorantly call Christ and God, okay? So, you know, to break it down for you, the order is Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, man, then woman, okay? Thus saith the scriptures according to the scriptures, okay? We're not coming out our own, own mind when it comes to this, okay? And, and, Let's say you do give a woman some sort of authority or, or put her in a position to make decisions, okay? She's unable to make any logical decisions based on logic, okay? It's going to be an emotional-based decision, okay? Well, I feel this way. I don't feel that way, okay? It's going to be always some sort of feeling when it comes to it, okay? And you can see that in your day-to-day, -day, okay? Whenever you're... uh. In, in, in a place or a position where there's a woman in, in charge, okay, everything or every decision that she makes, okay, is not based on any kind of logic, okay? She's just basing it on, you know, how she felt when she woke up in the morning, okay? And, you know, that's all I really had for this edition of spiritual exercise. Hopefully, you know, it was edifying to an elect brother or two. With that, you know, again, want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Makar, Kodash, double honors, and to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone, and peace and safety to the Akim, Shalom.